So Steve, a lot of immigrants are coming to here to BC or to Canada, and some of them are not used to go to networking events. And we always tell that networking events is very important here in BC. It's very important. That's how we met uh, one time in a networking event. Yep. So what tips do you have for people who are not used to going to networking events and meeting with people? What can they do? How can they be prepared? Yeah, I'd say go with a friend, Meher. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, if you've if you've been invited uh, to a networking event um, and and you know you should go or you feel like you should be going, um, but you're really having a tough time getting over uh, your discomfort with it or some anxiety or apprehension, why not take a friend? Um, now you know, pick your friend wisely. Pick somebody who who you think is going to um, not embarrass you in that setting. Uh, because ultimately, you, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to uh, make an impression upon people that, you know, you, you might fit into their organization or you might be somebody they want to work with or somebody, somebody frankly, that they just want to talk with. Um, because that's going to start the whole networking exercise uh, is just a, a, a conversation, right? Yes. Um, so, so why not take a friend? And if you're unsure if you're allowed, just ask. Um, I'm sure... In most cases, uh, the networking things that I attend, um, they're generally welcoming of having more attendees yeah. um, and, would, and would embrace that. And how should they break the ice or reach to a person in the event? Yeah, that's a great one. I, I really try to be, um, I, you know, I love networking. Mm -hmm. um, I have almost never um, not known how to start a conversation or and never, perhaps better said, I've never been shy to start a conversation. I'm sure I've started them awkwardly many times. <laughs> um, uh, you know, uh, it, it, could, it could be as simple as saying, hi, my name's Steve and, and I'm here to network some with some people and meet some people and I'm curious to understand who you are and, and what brought you here today. Yeah. It, it could be as simple as that. Um, and and that, that could quickly let you know that, oh, this is somebody I'm interested in talking to, or I'm going to politely listen to why they're here. And then I'm going to say, hey, I hope you have a great evening. And I hope you, you, you achieve your, out, your objective. Yeah. And uh, I wish you well. Yeah, that's curiosity. It's very important. It's all about them and not about you. So that if you show interest in other people, they will start talking and then you can have mutual uh, interest and then you can go from there. Whenever yeah. I go to a networking event, I always tell him I might at least try to network with two or three new people and see how it goes. And if I succeed, I can continue. If not, at least try to meet with new people and usually ask them about, about them, what's their intent of coming here, what, what they want to achieve. And that's also breaks nice. Yeah. You know, Mayor, I'm a big fan of networking. Um, it, it, it has been so helpful in my career progression. And, and I'm not, I am absolutely not just saying that. I am almost never the brightest person in the room. And so by networking, I, I, I open up so many different solutions to challenges that I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to. So when I, when I have young people on my team, I encourage them, uh, if not implore them to, to go to networking events and to build a professional network of people around them. And in fact, I'll tell them, um, hey, I'm gonna pay for your ticket to go to this networking event and you're gonna pay me back by showing me three business cards from people you spoke to when you, when you were there. Yeah, you showed me one time when we were at event, you were saying that this is my team, you brought them with you. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Again, those are great tips, uh, Steve. And again, for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, please leave it in the comment section and tune in tomorrow for, for my final question with Steve.